My name is Dr. Alok and welcome to another episode of Straight Teeth TV. Today we're talking about the aligners and the bite. So when we're moving teeth, we're wearing aligners. And as you can see from the photos, month by month by month, the teeth start to get straighter. But during this process, the way your teeth meet and close does feel different and that is completely natural. So we're going to be talking about the bite. So our individual bite is completely different. We are all different. It's based on like how our upper teeth meet into our lower teeth and it's just like height and weight. Some of us are different heights, some of us are different weights and some are more ideal than others, but we're all naturally different. See, we have completely different makeups. So we have different jaw sizes, we have different teeth sizes and just like we have many different um, human forms, we have many different ways the teeth meet together. So the first thing to understand is how your teeth meet together and your bite is a function of natural human variation. So we are all different and that's perfectly normal because we all exist with our bite as it is to begin with. So what is the bite? The bite is the way your upper and lower teeth fit together. An optimal bite means that your upper teeth fit slightly over your lower teeth and the back teeth fit into each other like little grooves, a little bit like a puzzle. So if the bite is not optimal, it doesn't necessarily mean there's a problem. It just means that some teeth might take a bit more force than other teeth, um, and that's caused by the jaw muscles. Now, if we go to the extremes, like an extreme overbite or an extreme underbite, then some teeth can wear much faster, and that could cause some issues with biting and chewing, but that's at the extremes. So if we're looking to, to straighten the teeth, we need to think about two modalities. We have comprehensive orthodontics or cosmetic orthodontics. So let's look at this. So in comprehensive orthodontics, the objective is to optimize the function and appearance to optimize the bite and smile. Now, what that then means is we need to attach fixtures, attachments, fixed braces, might need to take some teeth out, jaw surgery. In order to do that, more is involved. For cosmetic orthodontics, the focus is on improving the appearance. The person's not got any problems biting, eating, chewing, and they just want to use the aligners in a safe, non-invasive way to improve the smile. So it helps improve the smile, the bite adapts, but it's not focused on making specific changes to the bite. It's focused on making specific changes to the smile. So does aligner treatment affect the bite? Well, as mentioned, it's how your upper and lower teeth meet together. So typically the first molar to the first molar improves position slightly in the way that the cosmetic straightening works. And so when the teeth straightening is finished, the back teeth adapt a little bit and it just helps you um, adapt to your existing bite. So the main thing to be understanding is what your goals are. See, if your goals are to have a particular bite and are um, more aligned with cos comprehensive treatment, then you really should go for that. So it's good to have an assessment and make sure you know what's going on. So the first thing is making sure in your e-consultation you explain exactly what you want, but also you're fully healthy. The other thing is that you should share any information if you have any particular um, items from your dental history that you wanted the dentist to be aware of. And at the same time, it's making very important to make sure that you're monitored throughout the treatment by a dentist. And the other thing is that the aligners need to be sent in stages because as our teeth straighten, there may be some teeth moving faster or some teeth moving slower, in which case we need to adapt and change the sequence you get them in. So it's good to be in a position where everything is monitored. So the final bite feeling and settling. So it's normal for your teeth to feel different at the end. It's nothing to worry about. You've been used to wearing aligners for like nine months, 12 months, and you get used to having the plastic over your teeth. You see, another thing is if you bite or grind your teeth at nighttime while wearing the aligners, your mouth gets adapted to biting and closing with the plastic clear. And when you stop wearing the plastic clear, your mouth just needs to adapt slightly as well. So it's all about settling and becoming adapted. So when you finish the active teeth straightening and you're in the retention phase, your retainers help your teeth back to stabilize into position. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer. And in those situations, there are things that can be done to improve and speed up the rate of bite settling. So I hope you found that useful and look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.